Vue.js is a flexible technology that you can use to develop modern applications fast. Since its initial release in 2014, Vue has seen a large growth as it becomes popular among the web development industry. This is because it offers some nice benefits when compared to other frameworks. In this video, we'll go over the benefits of the framework and give six reasons why you should choose Vue. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other Vue.js content. One of Vue's most distinct features is its reactivity system. Reactivity is a programming paradigm that allows us to adjust to changes in a declarative manner. This means that when you set variables in Vue, it will automatically update the user interface. This makes state management simple and intuitive. Since Vue automatically updates the component, this means the system knows precisely which components actually need to be re-rendered when state changes. And with the release of Vue 3, we now have even more control over the underlying reactivity system that powers Vue. This in return removes the need for a whole class of performance optimizations from the developer's plate and allows them to focus more on building the application itself. Since now we don't need to worry about these optimizations, Vue is extremely flexible and scalable. In practice, this means that it can be used for large applications as well as to construct small interactive parts to be integrated with a different technology. You could also use frameworks like Nux.js, which helps you structure and build applications with best practices out of the box. In other words, it could be anything you need it to be either just a library in your project or a fully featured framework used to build an entire product. Before I started using Vue, I would frequently get frustrated with the number of choices I had when creating a project. Vue provides official support for several essential add-ons, including Vue Router for client-side routing, Vuex for state management, Vue Test Utils for unit testing components, Vue DevTools, browser extension for debugging, and Vue CLI for creating projects. Of course, none of these tools are required, and Vue can work quite well with alternative libraries like Redux or MobX instead of Vuex. The critical point is that the community assists developers by supporting a set of very good recommended defaults. Developers love Vue.js, not just because it's a great technology, but also because it's made with them in mind. First, there's the Vue CLI, which is a handy tool for creating a Vue project using whatever tools you choose. The CLI is much more flexible compared to similar offerings from competitors and provides a lot of pre-configured steps. Additionally, there's also a graphical interface available, which can help you start on your project without typing a whole bunch of commands in the terminal. Then there is also the awesome documentation. It is very well written and explains a lot of the Vue concepts in detail. Overall, I find Vue.js was quite easy to learn. Its API is intuitive, which allows newcomers to quickly catch on. Vue 3 also offers the Composition API, a new way to interact with Vue's reactivity system. It provides some major benefits over the Options API. First, it allows us to extract common use cases into reusable functions and then call them in different components. A nice example of this is the ViewUse library, which provides some common composition functions you would need when building any type of application. Next, it allows for easy separation of concern. This means we can group common operations together that are related. This way, when a developer comes to look at the code, they know exactly where to find what they are looking for. Overall, I really enjoy working with Vue.js. When it comes to building an interface, I spend less time wrestling with configuration, APIs, and worrying about re-renders that I actually get to spend time on the things I enjoy. Overall, if you're considering creating a new project and you don't know which framework to use, I highly recommend Vue. I hope the reasons that we went over in this video helps reinforce what I'm saying. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other Vue.js tutorials. I also have a growing community over on Discord. I recommend you go check it out. Hope to see you in the next one.